Hello, my name is Juma Ahmed Al Ramadan, majored as in mechanical engineering. I will talk about the course that do nothing with my major. This course is World Civilization. Many wonder what this course for, or do they need to take it? Well, I have this experience, and I end up taking this course where I get benefited a lot in two ways. First, the knowledge that I found out of the historic of the world that we are living in right now and second part I felt how this course will help me to know how the history of the industrial revolution affect the development of mechanical engineering part therefore I will develop new way of thinking through the course rely on the event happened in the past at the first day, our Professor Ahmed Nuruddin start first lecture by explaining the course. I wonder, do we need to go back to school and memorize every subject and consider it as any normal boring course that we need to go through and finish it? But Professor Ahmed Nuruddin shut us and impress us with the content that we would take through this course. Finally, this course about the century that lastly effect to the present time starting on 16th century. Professor Ahmed Nuruddin mentioned that this course will not focusing on memorizing the event and the date, but instead of that, developing a new skills of the analysis of the event and get to know the event from the professional perspective. Even though student register and this course are all from different major still all feel that this course connecting back to root of our major it's look on the event that happened and my change what we are living right now in this course we talk about how america discovered how empire rose and fall and how islam affect some main event in the world. Nevertheless, in this course, we get the chance to develop new skills by analyzing the history in professional perspective. World civilization is a big broad subject and in the same time an endless study. As student from different age and major have the chance to see the past, analyze it and connect it to what we are living Right now, connecting past historical event with the present is the one of the main outcome that we get through the course. Where, for example, I am a mechanical engineering. So, the course that I take and all concentrated on the principle of mechanical engineering and application through industry. This course helped me to connect what I am studying and who are the scientists and inventor who play great deal event in my major. Let's take example. Steam engine. The inventor James Watt Scotch did great improvement between 1769 and 1784 century where he converted a steam engine machine of limited use to an efficiency one for many application. It was the foremost energy source in the industrial revolution emerge and greatly multiply its productive capacity. Watts was a genius creative who radically transformed the world from an agriculture society into industrial one. Through Watt's invention, the first practical steam engine are coming to the world. Our modern world eventually moved from 19 roller base to 19 industrial. I found out from my own personal analysis without the improvement of James Watt, the world would not transform into industrial society. The whole class got the chance to work on global problem. I look on the issues from 
historical perspective. This information didn't come from the book that we are studying or even from the lecture note. It's come from analyzing the event and connecting to our major. This mainly what's make world civilization nice, fun, and very useful. It's not about memorizing. It's about real life and developing new ways of thinking about the past and connected to the present. In my opinion, I would like really recommend this course to all students in, in whatever major because it's realized history in correct matter. It shows how good you are in analyzing, thinking and developing. At the end, I would thank Professor Ahmed Nuruddin to give me this chance to show, develop, work on a new skills and to help us to look at the event that have changed the world. Thank you very much.